Hi kids, I'm Avery, and I'm really glad to meet you. Welcome to my big backyard. Come on in. What are you doing? I'm making dog treats. But where are your ingredients? I don't have any. I'm making dog treats out of nothing. People can't make something out of nothing. No, but I'm not a people. I am a dog. Dogs can't either. Making something out of nothing is called creating. And there's only one special being in the whole entire universe that can make something out of nothing. Do you know who that is? Um, uh, um, uh, don't tell me. Uh... Hey, everyone. Do you know the one who can make something out of nothing? Bye. That's right. Woof. Where did all you guys come from? These are my special visitors. You were so busy, you didn't even see them. Oh, hey, I love company. Oh, yeah, there's Naya and Jack and Shanice. I see you over there, Joe. Did anybody bring dog treats? No. No? Oh, man, this is not going to be a great day. Yes, it is. It is? Yes. This is a great day because it is a day that God has made. Did you know that the very first words in the Bible are, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's so cool. And there's another verse that says, this is the day the Lord has made. What? God makes every single day? Every single one. And that is something to be glad about. Come on in. Hi, Avery. Hi, Elvis. Lee and I have a new song we'd like to sing for y'all. Josh and Lee are my neighbors. They write music, and today they've written one about this day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad This is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice, I will rejoice I will rejoice and be glad This is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad This is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice, I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad. Rejoice, rejoice, again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice for the Lord God is near. Come on, sing along. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. 
song. I think it is so cool that you write your own music. Will you come back again soon with more new songs for us? We would love to. See you later. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Avery, I've been wondering. God made today, right? That's right. And Genesis 1-1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, right? Right again, Elvis. So, what else did he make? Well, everything that we can see or smell or taste or touch or hear, and lots of things that we can't. That's more than I can think about, I think. Tell you what, let's take a tour around my backyard and look at some of the things that God made. Okay, but watch where you step. I've got a few bones buried back here. <laughs> well, God made the plants and the seeds. And my doghouse and my food bowl. Well, sort of. God made everything we need to build things like houses and fences and swings. Okay, what else? Well, what am I walking on? Grass. And what does our swing hang on? The big tree. And who lives in the big tree? The birds. Wow, it must have taken God a long time to make all this. Actually, the Bible says God created everything in just six days. Huh? Say what? Come on in, Mr. Michael. We're in the backyard. Mr. Michael is our friend from down the street. He always has something really cool to show us. Hi, Mr. Michael. Hey, you brought Zachary with you. Hi, Avery. Hi, Elvis. You can call me Z, like my dad does. You got here in the nick of time. Uh-ho. -huh. What's going on? Avery's been telling me all about how God created the world and everything in it out of nothing. That's right. And in fact, God did it in six days. That's what Avery said. You know, Zachary and I, we've gotten real excited talking about this at home. It's amazing what God made. Avery, why don't we use your kid view screen to show everybody at home what he made? Let's do it. Kids view screen up. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing? Like no ground, no sky, no air? That kind of nothing? That's right, Elvis. There was nothing. But God was there. And God had an amazing plan. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And that's how it all started. God called the light day, and he called the darkness night. That's so cool. On the second day, God pulled the land apart from the sky. He formed the planet we live on today. We call it Earth. But it's not a cold, empty rock swirling in space. This planet was made for life. On the third day, God carved out the land. He made mountains and lakes and fields and oceans. He added all kinds of plants and trees. He made every kind of fruit and veggie you could imagine. And everything God made was very, very good. For the fourth day, God filled the sky with lights, suns and moons and twinkling stars. Every star you'll see in the sky tonight was put there by God. But just for us, God put the sun to light up the day and the moon to shine at night. And God was very happy with all of it. That's really great, but that's just four days. Is that all? No, that's not all. How many days does the Bible say it took God to create everything? Um, uh, six? Yep, six days. We've talked about the first four days. So how many days do we have left? Oh no, math. I'm just a dog. I barely made it through puppy school. 
Hey Z, let's help him out. How many days are left? It's two, days five and six. Yep, and for those days, we're going on a trip. A car ride? Oh boy, car ride, car ride, car ride. Where are we going? To a place filled with examples of all of what God created on days five and six. Come on everybody, let's go. Hey, this is a great place to see many examples of all of what God created on days five and six. Let's go take a look. On day five, God made everything that lives in water. And he also made birds that fill the sky and fly through the air. Day six was pretty amazing too. On that day, God made all the animals that live on land. From big to small, God made them all. What a great trip! But it isn't over yet. This is Matt Thompson and his son True. And Matt is an expert on all the zoo animals. Wow, we have invited them to come and share with us some fun facts about these beautiful animals. Mr. Matt, thank you for joining us uh, today. Tell me, what, what do we have here? Thank you for having me. So we have two very recognizable animals, but also two very unique animals. And when I uh, talk about animals and show off God's creation, I really like to show animals that, that people know, but also that are very unique. So this is a, a baby kangaroo and he's super cute. He's obviously very small. And then when they're born, they're teeny tiny, but this animal will grow up to be over six feet tall. Wow, so, so as tall as me. That's right, and be able wow. to jump 35 feet with a single jump. Just so, like me <laughs> as well. I can jump 35 feet. Can I, you jump 35 feet, Mr. Uh, Matt? Maybe not quite that okay. far, but maybe in my prime. <laughs> but the way these guys are built is just so incredible. So they're in the family macropod, which literally means big feet, but the way they're, they're made to jump. So they're kind of, they're literally spring loaded. So they store 70% of their energy in their legs. And so when, when their body hits that, they can jump 35 feet so they can move very quickly and they're just very powerful. So incredibly unique animals. But one of their most famous features besides hopping is, is their pouch. So these guys are born, they're born teeny tiny, they crawl up and they live in the mom's pouch for, for a long, long time. But because they're marsupials, they have pouches. So all these guys um, um, have, have pouches, which is a pretty unique feature. So their mom keeps them in a pouch. That's how they take care of their babies? It's how they protect them. So it's really cool that these guys don't really have to worry about predators because they're so powerful and fast. But if the adults were moving, these little bitty, bitty babies couldn't keep up with them. So the mom, mom tucks them in this pouch and off they go and then they're just, they're just kind of built in. That is so fascinating. Pretty cool. Now, tell me about this other fascinating creature we've got with us today. So True's holding a ringtail lemur and he is a, a type of lemur. So there's many different types of lemurs and many people will recognize this animal from, from the zoo. But lemurs are unique to one continent, well, really one island right outside of Africa. That's the only place in the world they live. So again, very, very unique uh, animals. And they really are just very cool because like kangaroos bounce, these guys can also bounce and jump, jump very far. So I know with the kangaroo, they spend most of their time on the ground. Where does a lemur spend most of his time? Right. So lemurs are mostly arboreal, meaning they spend most of their time in the trees. 
So because they're such good jumpers, they can actually jump from tree to tree and they don't have to come down hardly at all if they don't want to. Now, what was that word you said that's spending most of their time in the trees? What was, I'm not sure we caught that. What, what was that word again? Arboreal. Arboreal. Arboreal is the opposite of terrestrial ground. So arboreal is tree dwelling. What a fascinating word and term for us to learn today. Well, Mr. Matt, True, thank you all for coming and joining us today and showing us these beautiful creatures that God has made for us. Absolutely. You're very welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. See you later. Thank Bye. You. Elvis, wasn't that so cool? But all this talk about animals, it's making me hungry. How about a snack? Oh, goody, goody, goody. Animal crackers. Here you go, Elvis. One animal cracker. Mm -hmm. Just one? Well, you're a dog, and dogs shouldn't eat people food. This is a small treat, and you can only have one. Hey guys, how was the zoo? Oh, it was great. We saw lots of animals, and God made every one of them. God sure made a lot in six days, didn't he? Do you remember what days he made each thing on? Um, uh, let's see. On on day one, God made the, um, uh, the, uh, oh, what did he make on day one again? It's a lot to remember, isn't it? Thankfully, I know a song about the days of creation. Come on, guys. Let's sing the creation song. and the peas. It was good. God put the stars in the sky, the sun for the day, and the moon for the night. And it was good. God made everything, big and small, he made it all. God made heaven and earth, in seven days let's give him praise. He came alive with the seas in the skies. It was good. Fish that swim in the birds that fly. God made and the cats, fox and the rats, caribou, kangaroo, buffalo, and the ants. And it was good. God has something better in mind. In his very own image, he created mankind. From the dust he made life, his greatest design. And it was so, 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 so good. No, it was very good. God said that it was blessed. He declared this day. As a day of rest Now you know, now you know, now you know, don't you see? Mm -hmm. Now you know how the world came to be yeah, yeah. God made everything made it Big and small, he made it all for his glory God made heaven and earth In seven days, let's give him praise yeah, yeah. God made everything Big and small, he made it all God made heaven and earth In seven days coming. I love that song. God had something better in mind. In his very own image, he created mankind. Wait, what? What's the matter, Elvis? In his very own image, he created mankind. Did God make people too? That was the last thing he made on day six. God made man out of dust and breathed his own living breath into him. That man became the first living human. So God really did make everything. Everything, big and small, God made it all, including all of us. And God said that it was very, very good. We've had a great time today, and I hope you have too. It was so nice to take time and think about all the great things God has made, including you and me. 
He's made us all different. He's made us all special. And He loves every one of us. Well, it's time to go. Get some rest. Tomorrow is a new day. A day that God has made. See you soon. Hi parents and caregivers, I'm Matt Pyburn, a Children's Ministry staff member here at Bellevue Baptist Church in Memphis, Tennessee. We love Jesus, we love families and kids, and we want to tell families about Jesus from right here in our city. We are so excited that you joined us for our first episode of Kid View. Each week we will provide more fun and inspiring adventures with Avery and her dog Elvis as they explore the world around them and learn God's truths from right here in Avery's backyard. This week, we started with the very first words of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. What an amazing truth that is so foundational to everything else the Bible says after that opening page. Be ready to continue discussions with your kids this week about God's wonderful design for everything we see and his plans for our children. Our children need to know that God made them special and he loves and cares for them. Now I'm sure you cannot take your eyes off my incredibly adorable friend here. This little gal is barely seven weeks old and along with being a heart crushing ball of walking cuteness, she already knows everything she needs to know about how to follow her mom, how to eat, and how to wrestle and play with her 10 brothers and sisters. When we see this, it is good for us to be amazed. But also go one more step and ask, how does this little ball of fur already know all that? Who told her how to find her mommy dog and, and how to eat and, and how to have fun? It is good for us to ask questions like that to God because the Bible tells us things about how God made the world. This little puppy was amazingly made. Every little detail cared about by God. Or look up at night, the uncountable stars we see in the enormous sky show us how awesome and wonderful God is. It is good to wonder about God and how he controls everything, big and small. Ask questions and learn about him. If you have questions about how to continue the discussion in your home, check out our website at kidview.org for resources on conversations with your child or to contact us here in Memphis. We hope to see you soon back here for KidView. Thank you.